Joining me now, the Lou Dobbs Tonight A-Team, Leslie Marshall, uh, Marshall Fox News contributor, radio talk show host, welcome. And Colleen DeBase, who she's small business editor for the Wall Street Journal, and John Fund, columnist for the Wall Street Journal. Thank you for being uh, with us. Uh, let me turn first, if I may, to you, Leslie. The president is on the campaign trail. This is awfully early, and it seems like there's an awful lot of work to do in Washington. What, what's your reaction? Well, Lou, I'm a woman, so I'm a queen of multitasking, and I think that the president can handle uh, the various tasks that he has in and outside the Beltway. Uh -huh. I think the early bird gets the worm, not to sound cliche, and I don't have a problem with this, even though I am a Democrat, obviously supporting him, but I would say that if it were a Republican president as well. He has a team, he is a part of that team, and I, and I think right now it's to his advantage uh, right. to throw his name into the ring early. Colleen, yeah, uh, yeah. you have the I, same you have the you, same advantages. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I would agree with a, a lot of what Leslie is saying because I think you know there's a lot at stake here with Obama, and I think what what we've seen with the Republicans in the first 100 days, they've come out swinging. So you know he's got to step it up and he's got to sell his plan. And so what he's doing is not very surprising to me because he's going on the campaign trail and he's essentially marketing all the things he believes in. You know, the end of the tax cuts, the the health health care overhaul, the things he wants to go through, and kind of his own philosophical. Uh, thoughts about government. John? About the time 7 Eleven went 24 7, I think American presidential campaigns went 24 7 all yeah. four years. I think this president has been campaigning since the day he was elected, and the Republicans who have been trying to oppose him have been campaigning as well. I, and this president uh, is, uh, is winning the, uh, the war, uh, the class warfare, at least at this point. 58% uh, buying the idea we should be taxing uh, the rich at a That's far... actually remarkably low. Yeah, it does. It's... I mean, remember, most, <laughs> most people aren't millionaires think, I'm not going to be a millionaire, so of course you tax the guy behind the tree. Uh, the problem is the president's approval rating, as measured by Gallup, right. is down to 41%. Among independents, it's down to 35%. Those are treacherous numbers for any incumbent. Leslie is going to be absolutely profoundly disturbed by that because I, I was just trying to get to her with some good news and, and, and John Fund intercepted the good news. I, what do you make of all the bad news? Well, well, first of all, I don't think it's bad news because it's a lifetime away, the November election in 2012, and we all know this. Poll numbers are going to go up. Poll numbers are going to go down. Uh, certainly, we can't always rely on what the public is saying today. We don't even know who's going to be standing on the GOP platform, and that, I think, is going to be very telling as to what those numbers do. If we can't rely on the public, Colleen, whom can we rely upon? Well, I think actually she was... It's very interesting what you just said about the GOP platform because what I, or the uh, who, who we might expect to see uh, from GOP right. candidates. Uh, you know, we don't even know who the front runner is yet with the with the GOP. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is that Gallup, and I think you just mentioned Gallup, usually says that there's a front runner around right. this time. I know we're 18 months out. It seems like the elections are so far away. But usually, traditionally, there is a front runner, and usually that front runner gets the nomination. And so we're not we're not seeing that right now. If you know, if, if anything, we've got a tie between Palin and. Uh, uh, Trump Huckabee. and Huckabee <laughs> and uh, Romney. Maybe Trump. I don't know about Romney Trump. Trump. <laughs> you don't know about Trump. You're not. Oh, I think we all. I think most of us know all of. We need to know about Donald Trump. Whoa! I would agree with that. <laughs> My goodness, we we are building unanimity here, uh, on, at least on Trump. I, I I'm surprised that you, you would think, uh, you know, so poorly. Uh, what is your thought about Trump? Is he the candidate you would most like to see, Leslie? Oh, yes. As a Democrat, I would. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I, as a matter of fact, I'm actually a little bit torn. And some of my Democrat friends think I've been smoking funny cigarettes or something. But, you know, the number one reason people vote is name recognition. He's got the name. And it seems you need to have a reality show nowadays to run for president. But he's got that. Uh, but name recognition is key. I live in California, Lou, and, and panel where I never, ever thought that the Terminator would become my governor. And it did happen. So name recognition is huge. And we do have a cult of celebrity and a cult of personality going on so that can actually help but it helps to divide the party because the GOP don't take them seriously and the GOP are loving them the, I mean the Tea Party the best them. the best candidate for the Republicans John real quickly well if he goes into politics his reality show in politics will be called Fantasy Island <laughs> whoa Colleen, you get to top that well no well I will just say that I, I don't think I would want him as my president, but I do think he makes a great politician because he's already backpedaling. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of stuff that he said 10 years ago that he's now refuting. So I think he makes a great politician, yeah, not I, a president. Well, he's obviously had some, he's been in training for some time. <laughs> Thanks so much, Colleen. Thank you, Leslie. John, thank you. Well, up next, I'll share.